Let's have a look at how images and galleries work in the Architect Builder. First of all, I'm going to create a new page and I'm going to set this to be a completely blank page and let's just call this page Photos, for example. Okay, so here I am on my Photos page and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag out a widget. So we can drag out something as simple as an image, just put it right there. And by default, it brings up our image picker and they call this the quick view. We can actually go to a full view, which brings up a much more fully featured dialog box. Within here, we can upload images and you can bulk upload. We can also upload from things like Dropbox or Facebook. We can actually click free images and what this is going to pull in is a free library powered by sites like Unsplash that you can browse and search free to use images within. So that saves you a lot of time looking for images. There's also an option down here to manage images. So if you want to manage images, you can add folders and we could call this folder photos and click done. And then we can actually add images into that folder so we can keep things nice and tidy. So let's go ahead and select an image. I'll select this one. And if I click done, you can see it showed up on our site. It looks really good. And we even have this option to edit it. So if you need to make a quick little tweak to the image and we click edit, it's going to bring up an in-context image editing tool. Now this isn't quite as fully featured as Photoshop, however, it can do a lot of things like resizing and cropping and the architect system automatically is optimizing images in the background. So you don't need to worry about saving things out, optimizing them and bringing them back in. That's all completely done for you. I'm just gonna click save because this image is good as is. So my image looks great on the page and I can add a link to that image. So if I wanted it to do something like fire a pop-up or go to an email address or download a file, we can do that very easily. And if I go into the design view, I can change some predefined styles. So this is just creating a circle from that image. I could create a full width image. Now you'll notice when I click that, it doesn't quite go full width. And the reason for that is because everything in Architect is contained within a parent element. In this case, it's a parent row. Well, my row by default is not set to be full bleed. So if I turn the row on to be full bleed, then the image is going to stretch to be that size. And you can see it's actually maintaining its proportions here. So it's showing the full image. I'm going to undo that on my row, the full bleed settings. And let's go back into the image and look at what else we can do from a design standpoint. We can set a border, we can round corners, we can add a little hover effect. So let's just say a blur. There you go. So when we mouse over, we get a blur. And then of course we can add our standard spacing. We can also align within the gear option or add an entrance animation. So that's a simple image. I'm going to delete that out. We're done with that. And let's go back into our widgets and let's add a photo gallery. Okay. So I've got a photo gallery on screen. By default, it puts four images in for us. We could add more images here and let's just select a bunch of our food images here. So I'll select these. And if you wanted to, you can even click the plus sign and you can upload an entire folder of images directly from your computer. It's really easy to use. So we'll click done and you can see all of those images are in. Now, if I move this up so we can control things a little bit better, we can now pick us to image. So let's click this kind of slider and we can change the positioning within the frame. So if the frame's somehow cutting off the image a little bit, we can change that. We can now add some overlay options because this is a photo gallery. We could turn on enable links and let's enable some links. And now you'll notice when I mouse over the items, let me close this. They have a kind of caption and a nice little link overlay style. So all we need to do is we need to work through our images and just add whatever the link is that we're going to use, whatever the title description is, we can turn those on and off and the button and the alt text. We can rearrange images by dragging and dropping just like that. And if I go into the design view for this panel, that's where I can change some of the layout options. So we could set this to be something more like a mosaic gallery. That looks pretty good. We could change how do we want the text items to be? Do we want them to be on the image at all times? Do we want them to come on on hover? Or we could have them be below. Let's just go hover. Next, we could change the number of columns and we could turn off and on how many rows we want to show. If I keep going down and working through, we can set things like the space between the images, just let them breathe a little bit. If we want it around the corners a little bit, perhaps like that. Do we want to display the full image, add a shadow, add hover effects? There's just tons you can do within these galleries. So everything's looking pretty good. And the last thing that I want to do here is I'm going to try making this row a full bleed row. So if I click full bleed, 
There, now our gallery is spanning the full width. And I'm going to click back in there and go into the design, and i got to remove that rounded corner because I do not like it. Okay, goodbye rounded corners. Okay, good. So now if I preview this, we have our hero, we have this big gallery, and if I click on something, it's going to go to the link I defined. Or if I don't define a link on these photos, let me go back and turn that off. So there's no links on the photos. Now when I click one, it's just going to open in a light box in a really nice kind of gallery format. So if you're coming from Muse, you know that the ability to build a gallery like this with bulk uploads, with image overlays, controlling the spacing is a really challenging thing to do and it's really time consuming. I've basically built a full width, fully featured gallery here that can be used to link to portfolio items or link to pop-up windows in a matter of minutes. It's a great feature and probably one of the best parts about working in Architect. In our next video, I'm going to talk about the personalization tools within the platform.